Hi, I'm Marlene Sparrow, founder of Great Stories for Kids, and I would like to tell you two short stories which have sparked our passion to help children learn to read. The first story is about our son Rob, who joined our family by adoption the week after his ninth birthday. With the exception of his first two years spent with loving grandparents, his early childhood provided nothing in the way of nurturing, training, or the love within a family. When he came into our family, we knew we had a hard road ahead of us. At that point, Rob could barely read anything. Wanting to instill in him a love of reading, we started reading stories to him and gradually he could recognize words and start pointing to them. One of the most basic things we decided to do was to try to instill in him a love of reading. A lofty goal considering he could barely read anything at that point. The local schools participated in a reading program which rewarded students for reading at least five books a month. Rewards such as a free pizza from Pizza Hut or a free milkshake from McDonald's. And that's when we learned how very competitive Rob could be when there was a reward involved. He eventually had a large collection of Hardy Boys books and Superman comic books. Rob eventually graduated from high school and joined the Marine Corps. Coming out of the Corps, he studied criminal justice at Penn State and eventually enlisted in the Army to continue his military service. Then about 10 years ago, with no kids left in our house, my, Mike, my husband Mike and I became foster parents to a wonderful eight-year-old girl named Jessie. She had great manners and was a very feminine, girly girl. But it soon became apparent that she could not read even the most simple children's book. It became apparent to us and to her teachers that Jessie had not been sent to school much, if at all. Unless things changed, we could easily imagine Jessie's future being a mirror of her mother's. No skills, no abilities, no options, no hope. Jessie had so much potential and we wanted a better future for her. The reading resource people at Jessie's elementary school helped us develop an aggressive reading program for her. When we first began, she was the worst reader in her class. We started reading to her every day for at least 20 minutes and typically longer. And just like our son Rob, Jessie was soon recognizing words and starting to read complete sentences. She loved reading. Jessie was soon bringing home extra books from school and from our visits to the library. She wasn't satisfied with the reading plan from school and wanted more. In less than a year, Jessie was the best reader in her class and excelled in math and geography as well. How exciting it was for us to see her world open up with limitless possibilities. As parents and grandparents, we want to see our children develop a great imagination, the ability to learn fast, develop strong morals, and demonstrate leadership ability. While that may seem like a lot for one young child, it's easy to get them started in the right direction at a very young age. How, you ask? Read to them. Every day, every bedtime, every opportunity you have. Now take a good look at the classic stories we heard and read as children. Almost all of them have a moral lesson woven into the fabric of the story. And children's Bible stories teach them how to tell right from wrong, how to help others, and how to demonstrate respect for those in their family and others in their everyday lives. And even more important, they read and hear that they have a loving Father in Heaven who watches them every moment of the day and night. In the lives of the two children I just told you about, this instilled in them a confidence they may not otherwise have achieved. Out of these experiences grew our passion for teaching children to read. The audiovisual ebooks you will find on our Great Stories for Kids website, which is greatstoriesforkids.com, incorporate colorful illustrations to spark their imagination, text to enable them to begin recognizing words, and narration to add sound to the words and to the stories. 
Who do you know among your family and your friends who can benefit from these wonderful classic stories and stories from the Bible? The Bible stories are written in a simple and understandable format, especially for children. Too many children's lives are ruined forever simply because they have no one who can introduce them to stories and show them how to read. Change a life today. Download some of the stories to your computer and start sharing them with the children in your life. This is Marlene Sparrow with Great Stories for Kids. And until next time, may God continue to bless you.